the nightmare still playing out. That deadly and historic nor'easter slamming several states, there is still snow falling. It brought New York City to a halt, that 20-car pileup on the GW Bridge, connecting New Jersey to New York City, gridlock across the city. The maddening scene for so many passengers with buses delayed, halted. You can see the guards there blocking the escalators to the Port Authority bus station. Students at a middle school forced to spend the night there. And tonight, cancellations and delays still causing quite a scene at airports. Passengers sleeping on cots at Newark Airport. And now a new system we're watching tonight. Meteorologist Rob Marciano leading us off. Tonight, with snow still falling in parts of the Northeast, the nightmare is not over. A historic November nor'easter, stranding drivers in cars for hours, passengers still waiting at airports, students stranded at school into the night. This storm hit right at that perfect hour, right as rush hour was starting. In Manhattan, six inches of snow and ice halting traffic. Hundreds of trees crashing down under the weight of the snow gathering on leaves still on the trees. Blocking roads, crushing cars. I just heard a crack. The, the whole limb, the whole branch just fell down. The stunning scene on New York's George Washington Bridge, a 20-car pileup. Some were forced to get out of their cars and simply walk across the bridge. Nearly 2,000 crashes in 12 hours. Even if you say it's a, you know, an exceedingly unusual um, set of events that came together, we still can't let it happen again. Meanwhile, a sea of frustrated commuters packed into New York's Port Authority bus terminal. The massive crowd held back by armed guards. Four hours on an hour and a half normal commute. Some commuters forced to get out and push, many simply abandoning their cars. These students at this middle school in New Jersey forced to spend the night sleeping on gym mats. Their parents could not pick them up from school. They watched the movie Frozen. Yeah, I wanted to go home. On Interstate 78 in Pennsylvania, police using sirens, banging on doors to wake truckers and drivers who were stuck in traffic for so long they had fallen asleep. And the storm was deadly. One driver traveling north from Florida on Interstate 95 in Connecticut was killed after getting out of his car to clear snow. Air travel also grinding to a halt. Passengers trapped there, too. We were stuck on the plane for two hours. Stranded travelers crashing on cots and airport terminals from Boston's Logan Airport to Newark. What a mess. Let's get right to Rob Marciano with us live again tonight. The George Washington Bridge there behind you, Rob. And what a chaotic scene there overnight. You're now tracking another system? Yes, we are, Dave. We're not quite done with this one, which, quite frankly, outperformed our forecast. It's now spinning off the coast of Maine and spiraling snow bands around northern New England and north New York. But other storm you talked about, we've got winter storm warnings posted now for Wyoming and North Dakota, kind of a two-pronged system that will bring snow to the I-80 corridor and also snow through Minneapolis, Chicago, reaching into the areas that got some ice earlier this week, maybe two to four inches. Behind that, wind chills will be below zero. Some of that cold air will get to the east next week. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.